They climbed it. No, no let up at all. 1910 to Noel Burrows. Anthony Bracken staring defeat in the face. Is there any way back for him, Chris? Doesn't look like it now. It just, you know, it's everywhere he's been on the green. Noel's managed to find a good length, and, you know, it's. Looks very, very hard now, as if uh, Noel's done his job. He certainly won't give up, but if he pulls this one out of the back bracket, it'll be a bigger escape since they've well, yeah. the tunnel in cold. It's I think Paul Daniels will have done a trick like this before he gets out of this. Once he just got in there. And the crowd is shouting and again now, so that may have just gone out. Two more to Sprague, and Sprague is back in it. Andrew Sprague took the lead, nip and tuck game that. 12-11 to Sprague, the other semi-final. Yeah, I think that's uh, going right to the end. Well, wow. he's just nipped it off the land there. Oh, he's now looking hard at them. Could nearly be up here. Certainly taking one out. Yeah, I'm waiting. Yeah, I can Burris. see this. Yeah. Noel Burris defeats Anthony Bracken 21 10 to move into the All England final for the second time. Winner in 1976. Shaikh from one of his spectators, big hugs. Go and have a lie down now. Get some sonatogen in you and yeah, we'll, see you, we'll see you shortly. But what a tremendous player. At least he's going to have a little bit of a break now, Chris. Yeah, he might need that little bit of a rest to go and dry out and put some new gear on. Um, you know, I mean, it's just wetting through today and, you know, he'll just settle himself down, have a drink and uh, get ready for the final. So we're now Burris safely this way to the final. We're now joined the other semi-final. We'll stop to the conclusion of that. There you see Andrew Sprague, winner in 2006, 2007. Currently leading 17-16 against South Yorkshire's Richard Owson. Nip and tuck all the way this game, Chris. Yeah, all the way through. Owson's led most of the way through and Sprague keeps crawling his way back, but managed to get his nose in front now, so uh, might see a little bit of a different game. And they've been going a, quite a distance as well. Yeah, Sprague's managed to get in and just going that little bit further, but uh, they're really struggling making good leads. And the rain's just relentless now, isn't it? Yeah, the green's so heavy now, and uh, I think the biggest problem is holding the balls, so... They're really struggling. But well, the greens are taking it well, there's no water lying. Yeah, no lying water, no puddles yet. But, uh, House and there's just played a really bad ball, three yards short. Well, normally you'd say there's nothing to beat here, like both two yard off, but you know, the conditions. I think he's intended on reaching this time. Certainly further. Yeah, yeah. looks like the winner going in. Yeah, back level again. Yeah. 17 across. Sprague really hasn't looked happy on this green all day. You know, he's struggled a couple of times, but, uh, you know, he's just got that pedigree. Just Richard Owson, the South Yorkshire man, doing well. You know much about Richard, Chris? Yeah, I've, uh, I've played him a few times, Richard. Um, I remember playing him in the final at Leek. 
just managed to get the better of him. But um, you know, he's one of those players that's a real stiffler, never gives up. Um, you know, likes the longer marks. Um, you know, really steady player. Been around for a, a few years on the handicap scene, but. Uh, you know, not a name that most people had, uh, had come to. He's first All England, he's made the semi final, whatever happens from now on in, he's got to no, be delighted. He's had a tremendous day. You know, he'd yeah, be delighted. He's coming in with a good bowl here. Yeah, a real bowl. Just that little bit of class there. First time they've come over this part of the green, Chris? Yeah, they tend to have been playing the top end of the green and. Uh, you know, Spraggy's been going for the longer marks, Housen's been playing these 35 just, yards. Just, well, just tremendous just effort, just, just gone out. Nifted just on the narrow side. A bit dangerous uh, coming for two, but I'm sure he'll try. Two's wins games, they say. Yeah, correct. Well, tremendous effort here. Mm, just get a glint off of the other one. Just the one. Yeah, just got his nose in front again now. 18-17 to Andrew Sprague. Yeah, he never shows any emotion, Andrew. He just gets on with the job. No, gets on with the good job. Tremendous concentration. And he's been there and done it. Knows what it's all about. Yeah. Leading out again. Going the distance. I don't know if they've got waterproof shirts on today, Chris. But well, certainly, uh, if there was a wet t-shirt competition, I think we'd have four in the final. We'd have, we certainly would, yeah. yeah. Good job we've got a brolly up here, but uh, you know, not a good lead again. Five foot shorts, certainly room. Yeah, it looks like Harrison's <laughs> uh, just scrambled in. Just scrambled in, still plenty of room there, Chris. Yeah, plenty of room round. They're both a little bit narrow there. <laughs> well, certainly yeah. more in this. Yeah, and he's running this one up. Might put too much in. No, good ball. Good ball. Well, certainly give it a chance. Well, warning <laughs> from getting up now, he'll think that, you know, make a good lead if we finish it off here, but. He's a really good lead now. He's gone back. He got a long way. Yeah, he's certainly gone a bit further this time. That's the heaviest corner on the green, isn't it? By a long way, yeah, they're going good 65 yard here. Oh, he looks as though he's made a really good lead as well. Tremendous lead. Oh, super lead. Tremendous. 19 17. And the sort of lead you want, on that, Chris? Yeah, tremendous. Richard will be thinking, well, <laughs> just not a bad second, but just a yard off. Well, Andrew will be keen to get this double in here, two he needs for game. I can't see him being short, he'll certainly go for it. Well, you're right, he's certainly not short. Well, uh, Luke's a good pace, missing it. He misses that. Oh, yeah, tremendous. Oh, oh, super well. So he's there, uh, lying those two balls to reach it all. The All England final for the third time. Won it twice. Oh, that's Richard saying here. There's a row on, shout the crowd. Oh, tremendous oh. effort. Tremendous yeah. effort. As it fell in. Hey! <laughs>
certainly save game at least. Well, they seem to think it's won it down there. But yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah, it's won oh, it. Bowl. Fantastic bowl. Game on. That Real what you pressure call. bowl. Yeah. <laughs> pressure bowl. Now well then, 18 19. What do you think you'll do now, Chris? Well, he's looking at going right down the middle, but I still think he'll go a bit of a distance. Yeah, going about 40 yards down the middle. I think Andrew thought he was, uh, he was almost there then. Super Bowl. Richard. Length bowl. Yard off. Not a bad one in the conditions. Andrew's ball's on the way and he's uh, chasing after this one. Looks a bit short. Yeah, Richard's turn to put pressure on. He knows that Andrew can't get game this end. Barring yeah. a fluke. He needs a really good second ball now to put the pressure on. Can get this one in, he'll be lying 20. Has he reached? No, just the one. Sprague's got a chance here now. Has he reached? Has he reached? No, no, short. He's left it. Well, I can't believe Andy's played short there, but One more. 19, 19 across. across. Andrew coming back to collect the mat. He's thoroughly dejected with that ball. He knows he should have reached the head. Yeah, had a big chance there with a the yard of room. Do you think that could have just played in his mind then? He, was, he had two tremendous balls for game. Yeah, I'd, I probably think that he's uh, thought he'd won the game at that last end, but uh, tremendous second ball from Richard. Now yeah, they're both on the finish. 19 across. Yeah, all on the lead now. Makes a good lead. Yeah, a bit, a bit of thought, Richard, where he's going to go this time. Coming across to us. Again, that 40 yard mark. And then just pegging around the ground. Good road. Oh, tremendous lead. Really good lead. Yeah. That's putting the pressure on Andrew. Is it, is it too big? Big effort here. Oh, is it? Nearly run the jack here. Yeah. Well, oh, what, what a ball. ball. Fantastic. What a shot. Pressure back on again now. He's got a decent second ball, but uh, pressure on. <laughs> Does he go for it? Well, he's not sure. Andrew's waving it away. Just a little bit narrow. Good effort. Good effort. Now then. There is Andrew Sprague. He's just stepping on the map. This ball for a place in the All England. Second chance. Oh, he looks a little bit narrow. Looks a bit narrow here. Yeah, let him off. 2019 to Sprague. A relieved looking Richard Owson there. Just got to settle himself down now and play a really good lead. Take his time. Matthews, Bowles and Ice and Dry. In fact, the rain just seems to be easing off a little bit, Chris. Yeah, just easing off, but it's on the green now and its I don't think the green's going to improve much now. I think they're stuck with this. Yeah. Giving it a lot of thought where he goes. Why did we go off down that edge? 
thump by Peggy Mark towards the edge. Well, he's banged on line. Banged on line if he's Perfect firing. Perfect view of this. Running after it. Willing it on. Yeah, no, decent lead, two no. foot short. Kick it out! Well, Richard, just a little bit narrower. Yeah, short. short as well. No, he needs to be up this time. Improve on his last door, it. Knock it a bit nearer. He certainly needs to, to get a, a second ball in, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. No, no uh, danger at all. He can be up on his own. Well, he's certainly on the road again. I watched it. Certainly on the road. Oh, what a good ball. There he is. Line game 2019. Rich is going across to just have a look. He needs one hell of a roll there to save game. Well, he's on a better road. He's on a better road. Right, just gone out. There we are. Andrew Sprague by the skin of his teeth. 21-19 through to the final of the All England Championship sponsored by Padders for the third time in four years. Winner in 2006 and 2007. And now third final. Tremendous achievement into three All England finals. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I think he did quite well last year as well getting to the last eight. So. I mean, to keep qualifying through your own county year after year is tremendous and, you know, it just shows his dedication to it. I'm just there trying to, trying to get in, trying to get a dry. And of course now he plays Noel and they were both one point in Derbyshire County players, Chris. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I played there at one time for seven years and played with them both. Um, both been tremendous players and uh, you know really Bucky's favourites both of them today at the start of the day and uh, they've both proved it. Um, you know that calibre that comes through um, just carried him through at the end of the games. The thing is as well, it's just someone saying to me earlier that it didn't seem a particularly strong line-up today. But as I say, the cream always tends to come to the top, doesn't it? And you couldn't wish for two finer players in the contesting no, the final no, of the all I England. think it'll be a tremendous final, yeah. Um, I think everybody will be hoping it goes to the wire. Um, but, um, you know, they've both played really well. Andy, at the end of the game there, has played some tremendous goals. So, uh, you know, they're both going off for a little bit of a rest now. And uh, it's how they pick it up. I think it's all on leading in the final. Well, we'll be back, Chris and myself, with the uh, full commentary on the final in just a few moments. We're back here at the uh, 2010 All England Championships at Fleetwood Bowling Club. And this year it is the centenary of the event, which was first played here in 1910. Uh, the winner that day was uh, Enoch Pierce, 33 year old from West Wensfield in Wolverhampton. And I'm delighted to, to say that a special guest invited by British Crown Green today is Paul Barnard, who is uh, Enoch's grandson. Um, welcome, Paul. Thank you very much. Um, 
you've not Game been off three, number one. No. Um, what's it like if you've been seven. stepped on no, the bowling green where your granddad won it 200 years 20. ago? Six, it's really strange, quite fantastic 20. to be here. And uh, I've really looked look forward to coming here and uh, the family as well. And it's, it's really nice and strange. Uh, next um, game on, I mean, green you've got um, Enoch Bowles and two still, and I had a trophy from all those years. So it must be, it must be something very, the family is very proud of. Uh, certainly we are, yeah. And um, yeah, that will keep them very precious to us, uh, family. Yeah. Um, they're probably worth a small fortune, actually. <laughs> Have you ever been in offered anything for them? Never, never at all, no. 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 Um, I would say we did a, an interview with you recently, didn't we, for, for one of our radio shows? And uh, yeah. I, I must admit, when I saw them, it, the, the, particularly the clock, it's yeah. fascinating. It was just a, a one off made, especially for Enoch in yeah. 1910, wasn't it? Yeah, it was made by a French um, clockmaker. And um, yeah, it looks, it, it, it's really superb. Uh, well, that's something obviously you're, you're very proud of. Yeah. You brought your wife and family along today. I have, yeah. And, uh, Someone who knew knew Ina quite well in July. Yeah, yes, yeah, she used to live over the road, and um, she she used to sort of uh, worship around. My uh, granddad used to walk on and follow him to his house uh, whenever she could. And uh, over in Wensfield Park, she used to watch him play and practice. And uh, she's been a close member of the uh, well, close member of uh, the family. Um, she's always uh, come to visit us, and yeah. You know, uh, been a very close member, and she she must be honoured to come here today, mustn't it? She is, yeah, and uh, she's uh, she got really choked up when she just sat over there and started watching uh, the bowls. Yeah, it's brought back a few memories yeah. for her. And of course, the, I don't know if you know, but I mean, we're standing next to the number two green at the moment. But in 1910, there was only one bowling green here. Mm. This one was actually tennis courts, we, we found out today. Oh, right, okay. Uh, the number one green where you're situated is um, the, the main the stand. One that's where, where it's played. played. Yeah. In those days, there was only 32 finalists in it, oh, right, rather okay. than 64 as right. there are today. Okay. Uh, and then shortly after, the club here was, was built in 1810. The Old England was obviously 30 years later. And then shortly after that, these tennis courts were developed into a second bowling green. Right. Which has actually allowed it to be played here today because nowadays the All England is for 64 competitors. Right. If it uh, if they'd only had one green, it wouldn't have been able to have the centenary event here. So right. uh, it, it, it worked out uh, really well actually. Yeah, and it's uh, it's a great green venue. Green number yeah. two. And you've never been to an All England final, I guess. Five, no, never been to an Davis, what do you think of the atmosphere? Really, really good atmosphere. Yeah. Um, I can never uh, imagine it in. Uh, picture it, but yeah, it's good to be here. Has it give you the inkling to start up bowling and have a go get, get your granddad's bowls out? Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Standards I've seen today, <laughs> no. especially that now. Anyway, um, it's delighted to have you here. I know you've uh, the British Grand Green made you very welcome. They have, and uh, yeah. I've actually done a, a bit of a tribute on, on the, the yes, gate as you come I've in. I've seen, really the, nice, I've seen the gate, yeah, very well done. Yeah. And, uh, uh, degree yeah, number two. Thanks please. for yourself for the. Uh, Number 25, the, uh, and this flag, number 28, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a Jason Gowan. You know, part of yeah. history. Yeah. 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 All right, well, thank you, Paul, for joining us. It's thank a, you very much. Pleasure. Thank, thank you very much. Okay, I have with me uh, losing semi-finalist, a uh, very good friend of mine, Veronica Worcester captain, Anthony Bracken. Uh, commiserations, Anthony. You've played really well all day, but just, just gone out to nine words. Uh, just starting the final now, but just talk, talk us through your games. Uh, Chris Marshman first game, I think Chris struggled a bit. I played half these half these and they beat him five or six or whatever it was. Um well, a young kid from Cheshire, second game, I think he struggled as well. Got out comfortable with him. Um, played a good second half of the game with Scott Fisher. Um, third game. Um, and, and had a real good start with Adam Glenley. Played well against Glenley, quarter final. Fancied it. Uh, everyone was telling me Noel Burrows was going to get tired because he's 66 years of age and he's just spanked me arse, so <laughs> we'll leave it at that. So, he's played well, he has. The Greens have looked as though they've been a bit heavy all that. Yeah, have they been yeah. a bit better they are, going? They, they've been heavy. The one green, the top rim of the final is a lot heavier than this one. That, that we, well, they probably haven't seen it, but just out here. Uh, but they've, they've, they've been a comfortable pace. You know, there's nobody saying they're too heavy and they should be quicker than this, that and the other. The weather hasn't helped. No. Um, but, you know, one of them did. Oh, that's right, yeah. 
And as you can see, and probably hear viewers around, he's coming down. The final's just about to get underway. Noel Burrows versus Andrew Sprague, two previous winners. But commiserations, and you've done. Warwick and Worcester, very proud. And uh, well, over to Mel now, who's starting the final. We're about to commence the final of the 2010 British Crown Green All England Championship, sponsored by Paddy's Shoes. The two finalists there, Andrew Sprague, winner in 2006 and 2007, and Noel Burrows, 1976 champion. The betting is 4-6 to six Sprague, even money, Noel Burrows, as they set off, both aiming to win this title once again. What do you think then, Chris? Well, going off the last game in the semi-finals, if Burroughs comes out and plays the same game again, then Sprague's really got a game on his hands. But uh, you know, the conditions have got worse, it's not stopped raining, but uh, it should be a tremendous final. I think uh, as well, Noel has actually had a... Um, Probably a 20 minute break, hasn't he? His game was a little bit quicker than Andrew's. Yeah, he's had a little bit of time to dry off. Andy's come straight back out, same top, wet through. Um, you know, Noel's had a little bit of a rest, and uh, you know, I'm sure he will have set himself up for this final. And, uh, you know, first end, Noel looks as though he's lying one. Yeah. And it'd uh, be just nice to get the jack in his hand and start again. And as you say, the rain is just uh, teeming down. It's a shame, I mean, there's been a big crowd here today, and a lot of them are now had to take cover or in the club. Yeah, the stands have gone a bit empty now, and uh, you know, there's probably two thirds of what was here at the start of the day, but. Um, <laughs> You know, probably they've all had their own favourites in and now they've gone out, they might have gone home, but, uh, you know, it's a final you don't really want to miss. I mean, two tremendous players in the final and, you know, looking forward to it. No, well, no, he's just gone along that edge. You think he's looking to get in those corners again? Yeah, I'm sure he will. Yeah, he's made another decent lead here. Move out the way, ref. Bit of a blind end here. Noel's played a tremendous second ball there. Two for ball. Yeah, and see the end. Thank you, ref. Now, has he reached? Now, good start for Noel. Two more to Noel Burrows. Three nil to Noel Burrows. Well, this is a change. I think he's seen Sprague at the end of his last game playing the corners and he's come where he played in the last eight, down this edge. Yeah. And great success against Lancashire Merrick Rooney. Yeah, Mark Ritten, Mark yeah, Britton. he's been a good player in the past but Noel, tremendous in the last eight, really did put him to the sword. He's certainly got some support, hasn't he, Noel, uh, the crowd? Yeah, there's Early a good contingent trip. from the Cheshire lads and, uh, you know, I think uh, the independent ones now have, uh, you know, decided to back him. Well, two bad balls there from Noel. Yeah, he's let Andy in here. Uh, he's on the scorecard now. Yeah, good two from Andy there. We'll have to see if his tactics change now, whether he goes a distance or something different. And of course, you know, we've, we've been talking about Noel as being a real legend of the sport. But Andrew Sprague, if he was to win this three times, that's, that's a legend state, isn't it? Well, it is, yeah. I mean, I know there's an age difference, but I mean, Andy's been at the top of the game for the last 15 to 20 years. and. Uh, 
you know, he's a tremendous player. Won't let anything phase him. Just gets on with the game. Oh, he's made a tremendous lead here. 55 yard in the corners. Oh, tremendous so lead. And Nowell hasn't played these corners, has he? No, he's tended to play more into the other two corners, so picking the length up might be a little bit different. But, well, oh, tremendous. Slide it out. Oh, and the crowd yeah. love that one. It's right up the line, pushed it out. Well, has Andy left this short. Disappointed with that one, Andrew. Now the chance of an easy two, really. Yeah, five footer room. I uh, don't disappoint. Two to the legend is the crowd. Yeah. It's all about reaching the end in these conditions, isn't it, Chris? Yeah, Noel's got two balls away, perfect again. And after that, he might even go for the corners now. After that. No, he's uh, uh, sticking to it. I think he wants to possibly swap the corners, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah decent lead here. Uh, just gone a couple of foot past. He certainly looks like he's raised it, but again, it's, I think the water is starting to hold the bolt a little bit and that seems to be flying along as he's gone another 10 yards a couple of hours ago. Yeah, it's just stopped dead, length ball. Yeah, no. Straight on the jack, might even be two now. He's got 30 years on you! <laughs> Only what? one. Mm -hmm. He's taking his time out of this one, Andrew. We have just heard there's been a serious accident on the M6. Oh, tremendous hit there. Tremendous hit. <laughs> Flied that bowl out. That was it. The bowl of a true top player. Yeah, and now we'll see what happens now with Andy if he does go in the corners. Certainly looking at him. I don't mind. If he does do down these corners, it's where uh, Noel had a lot of success in his semi final against uh, Anthony Bracken. Yeah, I think the only difference is that Andy tends to play it thumb peg rather than finger, so a little bit different, but... No, he's well, decided he's cut it down. Three-quarter length, was round peg across the crown. Finger bias for the right-hander. Uh, looking like a good lead here. Yeah, good ball. Super ball. Ball the king. I'll fly him with this one. Andy punishing this. He's not improved, but it's a uh, two double. decent balls. <laughs> oh, Noel doesn't like that when he's turned his back on it. Short, short. again, yeah, long way short. <laughs> Worst two balls he's sent all day. <laughs> so there. Five all, in the All England final. <laughs> And of course it was played here in 1910, 100 years ago. I wonder what the weather was like that day, Chris. <laughs> oh, probably not this bad. <laughs> Just 32 runners that day. Only 32, yeah. Uh, Some think it should be now. Well, trouble is if you cut it down there, you probably wouldn't have the same support. But uh, yeah, it's a long day. 
but uh, you know it is the All England and you've just got to do that little bit different with it. It's one or two counties, they struggle for two green venues these days, it's quality. Yeah, I think uh, you know it's, I think they've tended to pick three or four different venues now that they swap around. But um, you know that uh, when you think of people like Manchester County, that uh, they only get one qualifier here, and 